Well, hello and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair Lamb, and today I'm sharing my favorites from both February and March. I was planning on doing monthly videos, but by the end of February, I did not have very many favorites, and um, I'll tell you why a little bit more about that in a minute, and so I decided to just extend it. So we're doing February and March favorites today. I'm so excited you're here. Come on in, make yourself comfortable. If you're new around here, I always put my favorites videos up into different categories just to organize them, and we always start with food and drink, so let's start there. I only have one food item that I'm sharing this month, but it's so good that I only need one. So this is the Sweet Aloha Raw and Organic Honey made in Hawaii. So I had a friend of mine who went to Hawaii and brought me back this as a gift, which was super, super sweet. And I have never finished a jar of honey. I mean, me and my family, not just me. So fast. This is the most delicious honey. I absolutely love it. You can buy it online, so I will link it below, but I know she bought it straight in Hawaii. Um, she might have said she got it at the Hawaii Costco, but I'm not sure. I don't remember for sure. Um, absolutely. Oh, I didn't even notice on the bottom. There's like a little, that's cute absolutely delicious. What I have been doing every single morning is making a cup of coffee and putting a spoonful of this honey in it and then I use the whole thing up in between Nora eating spoonfuls of it and putting honey on toast for my kids and like we just devoured this. It's absolutely delicious. Um, and then since then I have continued to put honey in my coffee but I just went to like a little farmer's market and bought some local honey from local wildflowers so hopefully it's called local wildflower honey so local bees but you know and um hopefully that will help you know continue to help with allergies because they say that local honey can really help but honey and coffee is delicious if you like your coffee to be sweet but not sugary which I do like both. I actually like really sweet coffee, but this is such a good compromise. I put like just a teaspoon in it and it just adds a, cause honey is so sweet, a natural sweetness. I really enjoy it with a little splash of cream. Like I have had my coffee like that for every day of February and every day of March because I love it so much. So the Sweet Aloha Honey Company is such a winner. I absolutely love it. Okay, moving on to makeup and beauty. I always have so many things in this category because I just love trying new makeup and beauty products. So let's start with this because we're heading into Warmer weather months. This is the Bondi Sands, the Australian tan. <clears throat> I've heard of this so many times um, from so many different people and it truly completely lives up to his hype. It is so good. You can tell I don't have any self tanner on right now. I have very, very pale skin. And so the struggle for me with self tanner is that it if it's not the right tone, it looks really, really fake. And this doesn't. I have loved this so much. I've used it several times through February and a couple of times here in March. Um, and it lasts, I'm not like super taking care of it because I've been doing it before a night out or before an event or before something like that. Um, if you took care of it, it would probably take longer, last longer, but I feel like it lasts maybe like three showers or so. And I take a body shower every day, so three or four days. Like I said, you could probably make it last longer. But it's so good. It does not have a smell. I cannot stand the smell of self-tanners. It does not have a smell. It goes on, and it just gives such a rich, warm glow. It looks like a real tan. I, I just love it. So if you are also very pale and fair-skinned and freckled like me, and you struggle with self-tanner, this is the one. I got this from the CVS. I didn't know that they saw. I thought this was like a luxury brand, which it's expensive like a luxury brand, but they do sell it at the CVS. So you can grab it there. Definitely recommend it. I will be using this heavily this spring and summer. I'm about to do it um, before Easter just to have a little bit more of a glow since I'll be wearing a dress and my legs will be showing and things like that. But so good. This is this stuff is it like so, so good. And this is the dark version. I actually wanted the light medium and they were out. So I got dark and I will continue to get dark. They also have extra dark if you have slightly more pigmented skin naturally and you want it to like go up another level when you do the self tanner. So that's that. The second thing in my beauty category, makeup and beauty category, is this native body wash. And we have had this native body wash in three scents. We had it in a candy cane scent, which is a limited edition holiday scent. It smelled so good. I love the smell of peppermint. And that's what it smelled like, obviously. And then we have um, 
we still have it in there with a little bit left. It's like a sea salt. I think that's what it's called. And it's a little bit more masculine, but it it's a little musty. I really like musty scents. So I, I have been using that alongside Riley. And since that one is just about out, I bought this one since we're heading into spring and I thought it sounded really good. And this is the Sweet Peach and Nectar. So Native is um, known to be made, you know, it's cruelty-free, toxin-free. It's supposed to be like a more natural brand. So on the front, you can see dye-free, sulfate-free, all the, all, everything free. Anyway, it's great. It smells, this sweet peach and nectar, if you like that kind of sweet peachy scent, it just, oh, it smells so good. I really like the lather. My main thing that I look for in a body wash always is that it is not drying, and this is not. Um, this scent is definitely, I would say, more feminine because it's so sweet, but like that sea salt scent was nice because Riley and I could share it, and I actually really like sharing body wash because then we get to go through it faster, and I always, I love having fresh things in the shower. It's just like a weird little thing, but native body wash, so good will definitely continue to rebuy because they have all kinds of different scents and pretty much all of them have fully five stars and they sell it at Walmart. So I can just do a Walmart pickup order um, or a delivery order. And I like, I just got that in our grocery order a week ago or so really like it. I'm coming off of a little cold if my voice sounds a little sniffly. Next up, we have this Burt's Bees cleansing oil. I almost shared this in my January favorites. You can see it is almost gone, um, but I had just started using it and I wanted to give it a longer time to make sure it didn't make me break out or I didn't have any other reason to dislike it because my initial reaction was that I really, really liked it. I love cleansing oils. I use them to remove my makeup and so what I'll do is use on dry skin that has makeup on it, I'll use a few pumps of this really lather it into my face and then use a warm washcloth and re gently remove it and then I'll double cleanse either with this again or I have a CeraVe um, the hydrating cleanser the one that's green I really like that one as well now this has a scent it's the argan oil in it that I don't know that I would say it's my favorite it's not like super off-putting but it's it definitely the, that's argan oil definitely has a scent like a fragrance to it um but this stuff works so well. This works just as well as the DHL cleansing oil, which I have been buying and rebuying for years. And this is a fraction of the price. Again, I got this in my Walmart delivery order. Um, the one, I mean, we get one every week. So this was in January, early January, but really good. Definitely comparable to that DHL oil that I've been buying from Ulta for years. And that one is like 30 or 40 bucks. I think it's pretty expensive. Um, but I've always just loved the way it leaves my skin so soft and supple and it also removes makeup. And I feel like this does just as good of a job. So I'm going to order more of this because I like it so much. Last thing in the makeup and beauty category, I think I've talked about this before on this channel, but it's worth mentioning again because I swear by it. I love it. It's the uh, Sunday Riley CEO Glow. It's a vitamin C and turmeric face oil and it gives you this beautiful glow to your skin. I feel like it gives this really beautiful luminosity to your skin. So I use it actually every morning and every evening. So in the morning after I cleanse my face, I apply a small amount before I put on my, you know, SPF lotion. And then in the evening, I do the same thing after I cleanse my face, I apply a small amount. It's hydrating, but not heavy. It's, it just gives like a really pretty glow. I, I really, really, really like it. Um, so highly recommend if you're looking for like some kind of vitamin C serum and it's often on sale. I've gotten it from different places, but it goes on sale from time to time. So that's really nice. Um, <clears throat> definitely love it. If you're looking for some glowy glow this spring, I definitely recommend it. <clears throat> it's a good one. I'm sorry. I'm clearing my throat. I kept putting off on filming this thinking that I would wake up in my throat and like everything would be better. But you know, these colds, they kind of just stick around and linger and I actually feel fine. But I know I sound a little stuffed up. Okay, I'm so excited to talk about this. So moving on to the home decor and products section. Actually, before I dive in, I always forget to say this at the beginning. Everything's linked below. So in the month of February, I got majorly, majorly headfirst dove deep into the world of crochet and I became totally obsessed with crocheting little animals. So let me grab, I have my crochet basket and my little turtle that I just finished. Let me show you them. So here's my most recent project. Let's get him in focus or her, I guess. I gave her little eyelashes. I made this. I made this. 
so fun. This took a long time. This was like at least 15 to 20 hours of work spread out over the course of a few weeks. I had to make this little belly part and then the shell part and then stitch the detail onto the shell and then make the head part and then do the details of the face and then make the four fins and then attach it all together and stuff it so it's a little stuffy. This is probably my favorite or my second favorite, I think my favorite might be the jellyfish I made. I've made a lot of them by now and I just started this in February. That's like so me. If I get into something, I just go whole haul, go right on in. I love this little guy. And then I've converted my basket of dreams, if anyone's been around long enough to remember this thing. I have used this for 85 different purposes over the course of the past, I don't know how long I've had it, six or seven years or something. My current, um, here's like a cow foot that's dangling. Uh, my current project is this little cow. <laughs> He's extremely cute with his little tail. And so I need to attach, I've made one of the legs. I need to make the other three. And then I also need to make the udders and then um, the spots. And then little cow guy will be done. Super, super adorable. But in here I have a big bag of, let's see. This is all my yarn. Not all of it, but this is some of the yarn that I've been using and that's the embroidery floss there on the edge that I use for um, embroidering the details. And then I have a smaller pouch that has like the hooks in it, um, some stitch markers, just things like that. And then this is the book. So here's the deal. This is what I would recommend. I get questions about this because I've been sharing about this a lot in other videos and on Instagram. So I've been getting questions a lot like how do I start if I want to learn how to crochet. The first thing that I would do is get a kit from the Woobles. So I have done a unicorn and a dinosaur from the Woobles. When you're paying for the Woobles, you're spending more money than you would to buy the materials to make those small plushies on your own. However, I feel like what you're really paying for is an education. So the Woobles is a company, it was actually on Shark Tank, it's a really neat company, and it's a small business that's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, and they sell these kits. So it comes in a little baggie, it has everything you need to know, and there's a QR code that you scan, and when you scan it, it takes you to videos that are step-by-step -step video tutorials. What makes the Woobles really unique is that they have tutorials for lefties and righties, which is not normally the case. I happen to be right-handed, but my friend Shelby's daughter is super getting like getting into crochet, but she's a lefty. And Shelby told me that she was really worried about her learning it because she's like, everything's going to be written righty. And I said, no, the Woobles have a lefty option. And so she got her one and she's been working her way through it. Um, so they have written instructions and then the video instructions, lots of photos, lots of, it's just really helpful. And the yarn they use, actually, they specially formulate. It's called beginner yarn and it's kind of more chunky. Um, and it doesn't get caught, it doesn't fray, and so you can really easily count and see your stitches and see if you've made a mistake or count and make sure that you're on track. <clears throat> So if you want to learn how to crochet, I would start with a Woobles kit or two. Um, I have a whole crochet, uh, like all my crochet favorites linked on my Amazon storefront, so I can leave a link to that below if you wanna see. And then after I did two of my Woobles and really like learned the, the practice of crochet, learned the terminology, I bought this book, which I absolutely love. It's called Whimsical Stitches. It's by a woman named Lauren Espy. And um, I have made so many things in this already. I have made this bunny and the carrot. I made the turtle out of here. Let's see if we can find the little turtle. I've made a little strawberry out of here. I've made a little macaron cookie out of here, which was really adorable. Um, here's the cow. Here's where I am right now with the cow. My, all my little sticky notes to make sure. So here's what the cow will look like when I'm finished. Anyway, this is just a really great book. Oh, here's the cute little turtle. Step-by-step -step instructions um, with photos, which is really great. I think I did a pretty good job. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this book after you've learned how to crochet. I, some people might be able to just pick this book up and just like YouTube what the different things mean and kind of pick it up. I'm really, really visual and it really helped me to have the video tutorials with the Woobles. So this is pretty much the main reason why I didn't have any February favorites hardly because all I did all month was crochet. I just obsessively crocheted. I mean, I made two different whales, the turtle, um, the dinosaur and the unicorn, uh, the jellyfish, working on the cow, well, that was more March. 
Um, there's a few others that I know I'm missing. The bunny and the carrot. I have just been like diving in. Really, really fun. So Whimsical Stitches is great. This little basket is great. Um, and then the Woobles kits are really helpful as sort of like buying. It's like buying a beginner course essentially in learning how to crochet and then you get access to their video library and their support and everything which is really nice as well. Next up in my home decor and product section which really isn't like the best fit for crochet I just didn't know where else to put it um, is a Kindle remote page turner. If you are a Kindle girly you need one of these they are so so good. So I have my Kindle right here <clears throat> it comes with this little piece there you go this little piece and then this little remote. So all you do is you take your Kindle, you put this on the side like this, and you can put it anywhere that you want. So let's just say we put it here. And then you're laying in bed all snuggled under the covers. You have the remote under the covers with you. You prop up your Kindle somewhere to read and you just click it and it will just flip through the pages. And it's so good. I absolutely, I haven't actually read this book yet. It's called Don't Let Her Stay by Nicola Sanders. Has anyone read that? I downloaded it. I want to read it. It is so great. I just love it. I just take, um, there's Kindle stands, but I don't like them. They make me nauseous reading. It's really weird. I don't get nauseous in the car when I'm reading or anywhere else. But if I have my Kindle on a stand, it makes me nauseous. Very bizarre. But anyway, I just lay, I usually lay, I'm a side liar. And so I lay on the side and then I just prop my Kindle up kind of laying like sideways so that it's like my eyes, you know, and then I click this on and I just sit there and click away. It's so great. So if you're a Kindle person, definitely one of these is super nice. I also loved using this when I was breastfeeding. Colin and when just in general when Colin was younger because I could set it up prop it up on like a little side table when I was rocking him to sleep or nursing him to sleep and I didn't have to try to fumble and hold a book I could just hold this little remote it's fantastic highly highly recommend okay next up in my home decor and product section which I guess is just turning into a catch-all for anything I don't know where to put anywhere else is a foam roller this is just an Amazon basics foam roller and um, I pulled a small muscle in like my lower back upper glute when I was working out at some point in the month of March and so what every time I would start a workout I would roll it out and then I would roll it out at the end and it just provided so much relief it was so relaxing so I was like how much are foam rollers like are they really expensive and I went on to Amazon and I felt like they were really reasonably priced especially this Amazon basics one and this is like one of the smaller ones you can obviously get bigger ones of nicer brands there's even ones that like vibrate and have like little massage I didn't need all that I just want like a normal standard foam roller. So if you get tight muscles in your back, in your butt, in your legs, even your arms, like get a foam roller. They are so life changing. I find myself watching TV or like my kid, usually it's not of my own choice. It's like Bluey or Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And I'll just lay on the floor and just roll like on over my hip and it just feels so good. It just stretches everything out. I wish I had had one of these at home when I was pregnant. This would have been such a relief when I was pregnant but um it's amazing <clears throat> highly recommend and it's small like you can just like I'll just slide it under my bed and I can just pull it out when I want it so good so good so helpful okay moving on to the next category which is entertainment which pretty much encompasses everything podcast tv music books audiobooks anything so first of all I listened to multiple celebrity memoirs this month um I had my cousin ask me if I li liked listening to celebrity memoirs and um, I said I don't really know that I ever have I'm, I'm really a fiction reader and she said just give them a try so I read um, I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy which I gave five stars I read counting the cost by Jill Duggar which I also gave five stars I read The Woman in Me by Britney Spears, which was more like 3.75 stars um, on that one. And then also Educated by Tara Westover, who she's not a celebrity. I guess she's kind of become more known now, but Educated by Tara Westover, also five stars. Just four incredible stories, very honest, very vulnerable, very riveting, really enjoyed all of them. So I actually listened to all of those on Audible and they were all great. And I like that a lot of them are narrated by the author, which I think is really cool. Um, so if there's any amazing memoirs, I guess they don't have to be celebrity. It could be anybody's memoir that you think I should listen to. Let me know. Um, I really enjoyed those. And then I also read 
the third Crescent City book, which is by Sarah J. Mass, who wrote Akatar and Throne of Glass, which I read all of those. Very much enjoyed it um, as well. And then I'm pulling up to see if there's any others that are worth bringing up. No, I think that's it. So that was, um, those were the books that I consumed through Audible and um, actually reading them. Then I also watched, which I'm very much behind the game, so don't make fun of me. I watched The Summer I Turned Pretty seasons one and two. I know those are books, and I'm sure that there's some deviations between the books and the series. Maybe I'll read the books this summer. That actually could be cute and fun. But I really enjoyed the series. It's cute. It's like fun and heartwarming and sweet. And like it was, you know, highs and lows and whatever. But I enjoyed it. I, I watched that while I was crocheting, you know, a zoo worth of crochet animals. So very much enjoyed the summer I turned pretty. Um, and I kind of understand why people talk about it so, so much now because... I was always like, wait, what is this? I don't know. I was always behind and now I'm kind of with it. Okay, next up we are in the clothing and accessories category. So we're going to start with this new belt bag that I got from Quince, which you know is a brand I have loved for a while now. Our bedding is Quince and I have a lot of their clothes and all kinds of stuff. So, and I just, this is so gorgeous. So it is an Italian pebbled leather belt bag in this beautiful cognac color. There's a couple of other colors that it comes in as well. And it has gold hardware and just like so beautiful. I just love it. And then the, um, the strap is, it reminds me of like a seat belt. It has that kind of feeling to it. It's very nice. I have used this so, so much. And um, it's just like perfect. I also bought, I wanted a matching wallet. So I also bought this wallet from Quince, um, which has, you know, all the standard things that a wallet has. But it's just beautiful, same leather, same gold hardware. I love that it matches. So I highly recommend if you're in the market for, I wanted something that was a little bit more elevated looking um, because sometimes when I, like if I'm wearing like athleisure, my Lululemon belt bag is perfect. But if I'm dressed up just a little bit more and I'm like out shopping or something, I sometimes I'm like, okay, I just want something that's like feels and looks a little bit more purse-like and I let more than like a fanny pack and I have really liked that. It's also nice to be hands-free. Next up in clothing and accessories, we are going to talk about bras. Now, I have been through all kinds of fluctuations with bras because I went through pregnancy, breastfeeding, postpartum, and you just kind of fluctuate all over the place. But I've settled in and um, I have, let's see, I'm wearing their strapless bra right now. And then I have one, two, three, four other Third Love bras. I actually don't have any bras that are not by the Third Love brand that are like my daily wear bras. I have sports bras and stuff that aren't by them, but everything, all of my regular bras. So I have like a solid black one. And then this one has a little bit of padding and lift in it, but it's a nude color. And then this one is like their everyday bra, which is the exact same as the black one. And then this one is unlined. So this is nice. It's like comfy for when you just want something that's kind of light that doesn't have any shaping or padding. And then like I said, I have a strapless one on right now. These bras are the best. Now listen, everybody's bodies are shaped differently. Every woman's boobs are shaped differently. So everybody's got to kind of find what's going to work for them. But Third Love has this really cool like quiz thing where you take it and you tell them, about your body and what you're looking for in a bra and they help you like find your size. It's also free returns because when I stopped breastfeeding, it took me a couple of tries to find like the exact right size that would fit me. Um, I just really, really like the product. I feel like it holds up really well. The straps don't fall. The The middle part goes flush against my body like they're supposed to. This, the It doesn't dig in. Like I find them very, very comfortable and I like the shape that they give. So if you're a mom or if you're any woman and you're looking for a fresh bra, check Third Love out. Um, this isn't like sponsored in any way. I would love to work with Third Love though because like I said, I have like what, what did I say? Five bras or six? That, and that all of my bras are from them outside of sports bras. So really love them, wear one every single day, and uh, they're just really comfortable, they're durable, they wear well. Um, I was loving them before I got pregnant. I remember wearing them, I had them for years. <clears throat> and I've just continued to like update sizes and styles and things, and anyway, I just really love them. Okay, the last thing in clothing and accessories is my new foldy bag, so let me show it to you. Okay, so this is the foldy bag. So this whole bag actually folds up into this little square here that says the foldy. And then this bottom portion also, it still has the tag on it, but I have used it. 
I used it for a little dinosaur trip that I vlogged about um, recently. It might have been last week's video when this is going up. So this bottom portion adds a whole lot more. So I used it as a weekender bag. The reason why I actually bought it in the first place was to use it as a, um, a way to to, to pack a bag that I could use coming home from a trip if I bought souvenirs or if I needed more space um, because it this goes over the handle of a suitcase of a rolling suitcase so it's really easy to bring it into the airport and um, it is so high quality I love it it comes in so many different colors I got two others they do a buy one get one free deal and then I have a 10% off code I just went on their website and to see if they had any codes that I could share with you because I know I was going to talk about it and they did so I'm not being sponsored by them but I do have a code um, and they do buy one get one free so I bought this one and then I bought a navy blue one that I'm going to give to someone for a gift coming up and then I went I loved this so much that I went and bought another one as well to give as a gift because I they're like anybody who loves to travel this is so helpful to have this little tiny pouch that you can slide into your suitcase right before you leave and then to have this much extra space to use when you are coming home and you need it like uh, incredible amazing um, I also like I said I used it as a weekender bag and I think I will use it as a carry-on we have a few different trips coming up and I think I'm going to use it as a carry-on because it's just spacious but it can compress and it's easy to hold and I just really really like it so if you travel a lot or you're you know have travel upcoming really good really good thing and if you have someone that you need to get for like Mother's Day if your mom travels a lot or your sister or your aunt or whoever it's buy one get one free like that's really that's why I have multiple because I was like well I'm if it's buy one get one free I'm definitely getting one for some other people in my life who could use one so they have some really cool colors too. That's obviously like an army green. Then there's um, a beautiful, the navy is really beautiful. I also got like a creamy white color that I thought was really pretty. There's a really pretty purple, a pretty teal, a bright yellow, a bright red. They have great colors. So <clears throat> love that. Last we have Priceless and then I always do kids if I have anything to share for kids. I do that after Priceless in case you don't have kids and you don't care to hear about kids stuff. You can just say goodbye um so for priceless i think the thing that stands out the most over the month of february and march is that my sister and her little baby girl Paige came to visit so Paige is Allie's third baby and she was really wanting to come down here to texas to visit with just her to really get some one-on-one -on -one time with Paige, but also for us to all just like spend time together because anyone who knows knows like if she brought her two other kids and then it's a whole thing then it all becomes kid centric and that's really special and fun but we we as sisters wanted to just like really have good time together and I feel like we got that because she came with just the baby and the baby still sleeps a lot she's still so little and so Allie and I spent a lot of time together and Paige is just oh my gosh she's such a doll baby and we had just it was super fun really really fun and then of course going away on this like dinosaur ex I almost said explosion no like dinosaur weekend we went to this like long safari and then on this dinosaur thing and even though the things the and activities that we did on that weekend away would never be things that I would personally like be like gung-ho to do I was really really happy that we went because it, I think it is so important for kids to spend time with their cousins and extended family members at the end of the day it doesn't really matter what you're doing it's really all about who you're with and we had so much fun and just laughed and had a great time even though the activities were like a little bit hilarious um kids loved it so good so that was definitely another priceless highlight that was super fun and we're gonna travel like i said we have three trips coming up here shortly so i will definitely be um vlogging them and sharing about them and then also if you're not subscribed to me on instagram and you want in real time daily day in the life content i do that all the time um i got off doing lives there for a while between just really struggling with the ages and stages of our kids it's just been a lot really full on by the time they go to bed i'm not really up for doing an instagram live um and then having allergies and then rolling that into a cold but i'm starting to feel better and i did a really fun live this past week and I save all the lives so that when you subscribe you can go back and watch them if you like watching that kind of thing we talk about all kinds of stuff it's really fun so I'll be doing them a little bit more and then I'll be sharing day in the life um, when we go you know we, we're traveling for Easter and then we're going on a beach vacation and we're going to Disneyland soon so all like packing and prepping day to day of Disneyland and then going and where we're eating and where we're going and what rides we're riding that will all be on Instagram subscribers so make sure to subscribe there if you want that kind of content if that would be interesting to you it's really fun I have to say Okay, last but not least, I have like a love-hate with water tables because I feel like they always get so gunky and like moldy and nasty and then you have to like wash them out to clean them but then the kids want to keep playing them and like my kids love to dump mud in them and then they get like all, I just, 
when we moved from our old house and we had a water table that was like on its last leg, I'm like, let's just get rid of this. Like I'm, it's, it's just a pain. Also, we have a pool now and I feel like it, I'm like, our kids don't need a water table. They have a whole pool. The reality is though, kids love water play and we've had some really nice warm days lately where we've been outside and they've asked to play with water. And I was racking my brain and trying to decide how I was going to handle this because I didn't really want to buy a water table. Our garage is chock full of everything. Um, but I wanted them to be able to water play. And so I was placing a Walmart grocery order and I saw these dish pin bins. They are $2.98. It's just a Sterilite dish bin. And I bought two of them. And this is Nora's. And so she has like all her little tea set stuff. And what we have been doing every single day, this is like lazy mom hack, love, obsessed with it. I put these both outside. I fill them both up with the hose. Colin gets one. It was $2.98. Colin gets one. Nora gets one. I don't care what toys they put in there as long as they're not electronic. Nora gets her Barbies. She does that and they either it's the pool and all this and then she does tea parties Colin loves to play with his dinosaurs and throw dinosaurs in there he loves to throw rocks in there at the end of the day I take the toys out I dump the water out I do a little rinse turn them upside down to dry there's no mold no problem they're so easy to store water tables are enormous um, no hate to water tables like I said it's like a love hate for me they're like they are fun but the, I kind of find them to be more trouble than they're worth this has been amazing if your kids are a little bit taller my kids don't mind like squatting down and playing on the floor so I've just been popping these on the floor but any like low table like a low plastic table could totally work as well because it would you could put it on top of there anyway lazy mom hack for the summertime and for the spring if you want to do water play you don't want like a huge mess moldy cleaning muddy whatever get a 298 Sterilite dish bin. I will link it below in case you were a Walmart grocery mama like me. You can just throw a couple of them in your cart. One for every kid I would recommend. And then when you get your groceries delivered, these were sitting on our front porch as well alongside like the apples and the yogurt. And we just went to town. They have been such a good investment. And like, I couldn't care less if the kids are rough with them because they were 298. So and also these are the kind of things that last forever. I remember my grandmother had one of these dish bins and I'm telling you that thing must have been 60 years old. They last forever. Awesome. So that's the only thing I have in the kids section, but I feel like it's a standalone because it was just like, it's such a simple kind of silly hack, but it makes a lot of sense for kids who love water play without it being like a whole event. And for less than $6 for two of them, I will take it. Anyway, those are my favorites for the months of February and March here in 2024. I have a lot of fun things, like I said, coming up here in the next couple of months. So make sure to stick around if you're interested. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys soon. Let me know down below all your favorites like what beauty favorites have you discovered in the past couple months what tv shows have you been watching what books have you been reading what memoirs have you been enjoying have you started crocheting I know there's some of you that have um do you already crochet what do you like to crochet tell me everything I want to know I'll see you guys soon thanks so much for being here bye